everybody. Quick wave, it's Eleanor Grace here, and uh, I'm live here from London in the UK. So welcome to the show. This is my Psychic Destiny show, and during the next 30 minutes or so, I will be looking at giving free psychic readings to uh, some of your callers, some of our callers here on Moonstruck TV and of course live on air, A1R Psychic Radio. So let's have a look at your week. Last week we had all sorts of technical issues that was going on everywhere, but possibly because of uh, Mercury, wasn't it? Mercury was retrograde, so we have to think here very long and hard about what's happened to us during the week. And uh, I think a lot of you will have experienced the same thing, some um, miscommunication, uh, some difficulties in really trying to get everything straight. And now we're looking at a different situation. We're going into harvest mode, aren't we? We're in October and this is our October Halloween, Hallow's Eve month where we celebrate our own harvest and we need to look back and reflect on the year and see what we've gained in the year. But also we're looking at the future, aren't we? And that's what happens with psychic readings. Now, I will be using my crystal ball here, which is very, very popular. And it helps with the energy. It brings in a lot of different sort of focus. Now, here's the, the crystal. And this one is my sort of like healing crystal. This is what I use um, really to bring in that extra energy, that extra focus. And we've got citrine in this one, which really allows for a very, very different opportunity for you all to really gather some um, healing energy. Maybe you want to put back some of the elements in your life that seem to have been a little bit fractured. And I use this as well for spirit, for spirit connections. And this is allowing for a wonderful chance and opportunity for spirit to come in to the reading. So this is our next stage, looking at the crystal ball and also looking at cards, which is, is what we're doing here. Now, uh, I think we're probably ready for one of our readers, one of our viewers that are coming in who wants to have a reading, and we are. It's Jennifer in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hello there, Jennifer. Are you here online? Just getting my cards ready for you. You're through to Eleanor Grace. How are you today, Jennifer? I'm good, hon. How are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really, really great. Um, it's coming here from uh, London in the UK. It's all a bit dismal here. I don't know what the weather's like there. For you, you know how we always talk about the, the weather as British because it's so, you know, unpredictable here. We just never know what we're going to get. Anyway, let's have a look at you here, <laughs> Jennifer. I'm just going to get... Get my cards ready and uh, take some take some time with you. I, I, Jennifer, Thank I do you. want to give you a, a spirit. There's a lady in spirit around you who I feel has just come through to say hello, um, shining a light on you. And I've also got this big initial C that she's showing me, writing it on a, a page, and she may well be left-handed as well. Uh, so have a think about the initial C. See what that is in importance around you. Could be Carol, Caroline. I'm shuffling these now just to take a few cards for you here, Jennifer, to see what's happening right now. Here you are in a situation right now here today where you will be looking at taking control a little bit and really maneuvering your position here, Jennifer, so that other people really do have to take notice of you. And you want to do this quite forcefully, but also very diplomatically. I'm not just talking about personal relationships here. I'm talking about those around you, close friends, maybe neighbours, and also working colleagues, people that you're interacting with on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, that's a 
very, very significant new pathway that's opening for you. So I do expect you here, Jennifer, to be able to either teach people do new opportunities, new openings, and maybe new skills and enhance their skills. So training is involved here, but you being at the forefront of that, does that make sense to you here, Jennifer? Is that something that's yes. relevant? Now? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, exactly. What is it that, okay, what is it that you're doing? Because you've drawn here the strength card from the tarot. There's all the lions and lionesses waiting in line. But really, this is about patience. It's about you being tolerant, you having patience in abundant quantities uh, to be able to really issue out these instructions to others. And they will listen, they will take notice. And because of your work that's about to happen, the work that's about to come in, you are going to be elevated. So you're going to be celebrated, I think, by the end of the year. And you will feel as though everything sort of happens for a reason in some way. But for you, it's more than that. It's more dynamic. You have instigated a chain reaction here and you're attracting to you people who want to be on your journey or part of your journey. So do expect here, Jennifer, that quite a few different individuals will suddenly turn up and you'll think, ah, oh, where did they come from? You know, what's that yeah. all about? Why are they in front of me? Is that, is that what's happening already, Jennifer? No, not yet. But yeah, I'm looking forward. Okay. I can see. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I'm getting yeah. at. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it's the self empowerment that's in you that is allowing that to take place next. So it's transformational energy. This is a card as well that I'm going to give you. This is the transformational butterfly. It's a very strong image as well for you because it acts absolutely symbolizes that personal transformation and when it appears in any reading it's really saying to you listen here to your dreams listen to your hopes don't dismiss you know signals and silent messages as being not relevant because this is you yep. turning your life around now i've got a man walking towards you here as well i can i can see him um, in that distance and he's sort of walking quite slowly and then he starts to hurry up and then he almost gets into a bit of a run like a jog and then he's really running quickly towards you and this is very important news for you because it means that there's a breakthrough emotionally and that's with a partner so do you currently have a partner yes okay yeah we so yeah. So there's something between the two of you that is so exciting, that's so interesting that he can't wait to get to you to do it. Um, so you're in the lead here. You're the one that is taking the initiative rather than him. So you lead first and then he follows just a couple of seconds behind. Is that true? Is that how your relationship yeah. plays out? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of women that do that, but but very unsuccessfully sometimes. But your situation not, is a very yeah. Ahead. Your no, situation ahead, is very successful. That's what I was saying. So yeah. do you know do you know a Carol or Caroline? Because that is a name that is going to be so important to you. Do you know anybody with that name at the moment? No, I don't at the moment. Right. Watch for it because when you come across okay. her, it's lucky and she sticks with you. So she's your um, emblem, if you like. You know, she's the okay. one that is going to be lucky for you, will you know, do whatever you, you ask or suggest. And she's just a, a right hand person. She's very reliable. Okay. You can trust her. And you need somebody like her on this journey going forward because it's all opening up for you now and making you feel, I think, really quite 
special. You know, you're feeling sort of all tingly inside and it gets rid of these <laughs> words. <laughs> Uh, I'm tingling um, all over right now. Sorry. I, oh, brilliant, brilliant. That's how yeah. I'm feeling. I'm sort of really excited. And it gets rid of the past few months that I think have been difficult or disappointing where you, you've been low mood. There's been this, you know, just can't be bothered. And now it's yeah. absolutely the opposite. So you are inspired. You've had some inspiration come into your life. And you've also had dreams here as well. I feel as though there's been angels around you. Um, perhaps, I mean, I always look at angels as being spirit. Spirit come close in your dreams and guide you, guide you a little bit further along the way. So let's just have a look now at the crystal. This is my quartz crystal and we'll just illuminate that a little bit so you can see some of the elements that are there. We've got citrine and we've got the aquamarine that is showing as well, which is so very, very powerful. Um, I'm looking through the ball. When when you read a crystal ball, you must look through it. And that's what I'm seeing here. There's um, aeroplanes here. So you must be going on flights very soon. Uh, you're certainly going up in the air. But when you have an aeroplane and flight in your reading, that's when your life is about to take off, as, as if you are about to get on the plane and literally fly into the air because you're not on the runway you know you're not on standby you're not ready to take off you already have so this is your life here symbolic here of your life gathering momentum and that is going to give you the greatest fix of all and there's movement as well are you are you planning here on moving your home at all jennifer Actually, that's what I'm in the process. Uh, we had a little, uh, yeah, um, something with our landlord, and yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, that's what I'm actually in the process of doing now. I'm not sure where or how or when. <laughs> I'm just trusting it. <laughs> well, do continue to trust it because it's going to happen very quickly, um, and this is a takeoff. You know, you're you're not waiting for this to happen at all. It will literally just happen. And that's when you will feel as though it's all just slot into place a little bit more. And so, yes, um, I wish you all the luck in the world with that. I do feel that there is a soul in spirit with you. It must be a maternal connection, a mum or grandmother, because she sat there very patiently, very delicate woman. I can see her with dark hair, playing a lot with her hands, fiddling with her fingers. Um, so would it perhaps been a bit a bit sort of nervous or anxious um biting her nails there's symbolic nervousness that's being transferred here from spirit to you because you're about to, to launch pad yourself you're about to take yeah. yourself here into an unknown destination really and that's always a bit scary isn't it it's a bit frightening however um, it is, but I don't... it's exciting too for me <laughs> at, at the same time yeah at the same time so it, do you have a maternal spirit there um do you recognize I, that my grandmother um, my grandmother, grandmother or it could be my mother-in-law too because they were both it was both are similar. I think it's it's more likely to be your grandmother because I've got this, you know, touching of her fingers and playing with a yeah, ring. Yeah, so. she, she just passed away like three or four months ago too. She was just, yeah, mm, that's my grandmother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, she's coming in here and giving you that route forward. Um, it's an open door that she's got for you. And she wants to give you the key. She says to you, you don't need it. You really just need to trust in your process, trust in your own instinct. She wishes you so much love. It only seems two minutes since she was with you as well. Um, was there a ring that she gave to you? Because I feel that there's a ring that she's taking off her finger and wanting to give to you. Does that mean anything to you? Um, no, she might have one that needs to be gave to me that I don't know about, but I haven't received one. 
Well, maybe Christmas. Maybe it's them. Yeah. Um, but there's, there's a ring that she knows is going to be on your finger. So um, watch for that. But I think it's cool. one from her. And that's what she wants you to have. So remember that. It's been wonderful cool. speaking to you, Jennifer. And I wish you all the luck in the world, especially from your grandmother, who's the soul in spirit with you today. And remember that name, Carol. Caroline. What is your grandmother's name, by the way? It was Margie. Marjorie I did have a, Okay, I did have the M, but I was going for Margaret because Margaret has been with me for a couple of days now. And I'm trying to She has a twin ah. sister named Margaret. Oh really? Uh and yes. is she still here with us, is she? Yeah. Oh, no, she's she's got she's with my grandmother. They both have. Oh, she's in spirit. All right, that's that's mm-hmm. what your grandmother was saying to you then, because um, she's got Margaret with her. Okay, I understand <laughs> now. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to get it all through yeah. in the right <laughs> order, but your grandmother's there with the rings and her playing with her fingers, and then Margaret is the name that she's got here. So that's your sister, your twin sister. She's with your grandmother. Watch for Carol or Caroline. And the best of luck to you. It's great news, isn't it? Um, and thank you for coming in on to the show thank here you. today. Thank you that's so much. My pleasure, my pleasure, sweetheart. And I think we've got Alyssa now, haven't we? I'm not quite sure where you're from, but I know North Carolina, that's the one. Hello, Alyssa, are you online here with uh, Eleanor Grace? Hi. Hello, hi. Well, that's a nice, bountiful voice there, full of energy. Do you sing? Is it a lovely singing voice I've got around you? Is that you, Alyssa? Are you having a bit of a sing song soon? Um, I've had people tell me, I, I've had a friend tell me that I couldn't sing, but I think it was oh. out of jealousy. I really want to be a singer, but I'm very discouraged, so... There you go. That's why I'm saying, do you sing? Because it's what I got straight away. And you want to be a singer. How wonderful is that? Well, let's have a look in the cards and see exactly what we can see, shall we? Um, See what we can Mm -hmm. find here and look at some good fortune for you with your quest. Alyssa, the singer, that's what I think you should be. Okay, I'm shuffling (laughs) now. And... um, I'm just going to ask you directly to cut the cards. So just say stop when you feel quite ready. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. And one, two, or three, which one would you like? Um, Three. Yeah. Let's take this one and let's see what's coming through for you. Yeah, this is lovely. This is... Uh, a man here, Alyssa, who is asking you questions, but look at him. He's down on his bended knee. He wants to get your attention and he wants to make sure that you're absolutely happy with him. So is there a man in your life? Do you have a lover, boyfriend, partner? Who is he? Because he wants to get your attention. And look at that. You know, he's really going to try very, very hard. Anything at all that he can do to please you. So what's your situation there, Alyssa? Tell us. Let let us know. Um, Well, I recently reported my child's father for rape. So, uh, that's one thing. And I don't know, it's a bunch of men, so they don't seem to be quite up to par, like financially. Okay. So, okay. so this could be an apology then that you well deserve. Would you agree? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. ma'am. But it's also a situation that releases you from difficulty, from trouble. And I feel that this is quite exciting. You know, I feel that there's an opening here in your life that allows you to forget and to just wipe this memory here and move past it so that you are better than this, that you're not holding Mm -hmm. this vent to you. Um, 
don't let it define you. Don't let it become you. You become you because you have the power within you to do that. And look at this. This is so powerful here. You've got the, the king here that's coming in. This is a, a person who is wanting to be in your life and a person that you will allow to be there. So a partner mm -hmm. who... I think cares for you greatly, but this is a new influence. Um, and I feel that it may just be about to happen rather than it already be there in your life, okay? So I'm just mm -hmm. going to now um, get the, the crystal because I feel that this is really important for you to literally have um, the energy here of the crystal ball. This one is the quartz with citrine. The citrine brings in some healing energies, some healing powers that are here as well. And I just feel that you you need that. You need that transformational pathway. Yay. I've got somebody here, Alyssa, with the initial P. Um, maybe Paul... It's like a Paul or, or Paolo. It's that sort of name. Who is he? Do you know him? No, I was told I was going to meet my husband in either 2022 or 2023, though. Mm. Um, I think you're going to meet him before then. I really do. I because hope I feel, so. Yeah, I, I feel that maybe that's when the two of you celebrate each other that that could be a wedding or an engagement or a time that you're saying to the world, I'm going to commit myself to you. But I feel that this is a time now that you really do need to have an uplift feeling. You need to have somebody coming into your life and the universe is just mm -hmm. allowing that to happen. I feel that that's so very important for you because it's the opposite of what you've experienced. It's the opposite of how, you know, life has, has made you feel so very negative and you've got your hopes and dreams as well. You want to be a singer. You want to be noticed. You want to be I think up there you know really having a life the life that you want and here you are you are the queen and the queen of swords here you will have to try hard so you are going to have to really work at what it is that you want and wield your sword so toughening up a little um not not sort of losing your identity at all, but this is being tougher and, strong, tougher and stronger and more agile here in your thinking process. So you must say to yourself, I can, I can, I will. So you can sing. Don't tell people, don't let others say to you that you can't or you won't succeed. You can. Mm. You can improve. You can tune into, you know, sort of all of your, your favorite tunes and songs. And you can practice as well. And that's what all the famous singers do anyway. They don't start out as being perfect. Trust me, they don't. I know a lot. But um, mm -hmm. they start out with a little bit of ability and then they make it happen. Now, this is a relationship that's happening for you. It's two people coming together, two hearts entwined. And you're feeling as well as so though <clears throat> everything is happening at the right time for the right reason. And that's here for you too. So that's an important diversion from where you are at this time. Are you working? Because I feel that there's work coming in and you're starting something new. What's that all about? Arrows of love coming to you as well. So a very loving time, emotional and flattering. I think you have romance here. And look at all of this effort and energy that is, in fact, coming your way. Really important that you understand that this is for you. It's a time for you. 
Now, looking at the prospects that are all around you emotionally, financially, and in terms of work, there's three things. There's a man, there's a job, and then there's your heart. There's you feeling happier about yourself. So what do you think here, Alyssa, about toughening up a bit? Are you ready for that, do you think? Um, I was thinking about that not too long ago. Um, It's kind of hard for me to toughen up. But I guess I shouldn't deal with people that make me feel little. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're negative. And I think if you send out a a sort of cosmic order and think about attracting to you positive energy and positive people, that's really all that you need to do. And then all those Mm -hmm. negative energies will drop out. Here's a fire card for you. This is fire for energy and fire for you absolutely being able to let go of the past. You're never going to just disregard it. It's happened, and we have to deal with what happens to us. And it wasn't your fault. You know, you've got to remember that. It it wasn't you who was to blame. You didn't invite anybody to invade you, your privacy, your personal space, your mind, your body, your emotions. You did not invite that. So don't take that guilt on. Don't take that blame on. What you've got to do instead is think about how you can project your energy to your future and grab a good life, grab a good future. (laughs) Make sure of it. Make sure of it. Um, The arrows of love coming your way I've already shown to you. This is is somebody who wants to love you and you've got to be prepared to love them back. But don't go overboard on trusting to the nth degree. You can't trust everybody 100%. So, Alyssa, I do wish you every good fortune in your journey. I'm looking ahead and it's a positive one. So open up your mind, your heart and your future with joy and you're going to be great. And there we are. Uh, There we have it. I'm Eleanor Grace. Thank you for your company here on Moonstruck TV and Psychic A1R Psychic Radio. So I will see you same time here again next week. Bye-bye for now. Bye.